probably wondered what's inside those railroad tank cars that I'm seeing going by on the tracks. Imagine if you're a firefighter, you're called to the scene of a derailment by one of those rail cars. How do you find out what's burning or leaking? And then what? Local 12's Jeff Hirsch takes us to a rolling classroom with some of those answers on the training train. Every day, thousands of gallons of hazardous materials come through our community. The federal government says rail is the safest way to haul hazmat long distances. But accidents like this one in West Virginia last year do happen, and when they do, first responders have to know to put out a chemical fire, contain a spill, or evacuate an area. What we cover with firefighters and emergency responders, emergency planners during these trainings is what I would call Railroad 101. This is the training train. Norfolk Southern Railway runs it across its multi-state system, giving lessons to first responders. Sometimes these cars can fold up like an accordion. So how do you know what's there? Uh, that's why if and when there is an emergency, it's really, it's vital for the railroad and the first responders to partner together and get that info and cross-reference each other's info to develop that plan of attack. So if you're stopped at a grade crossing and you see a train go by and you see tank cars like that, you might think, you know, they're all the same, they're all carrying the same stuff. Not necessarily true. Bakken oil from North Dakota has a different flash point than Alberta oil from Canada, and it's not only oil. Each one hauls a different kind of material. Sometimes it's pressurized tank cars, sometimes they're non-pressurized. There are flammables, there are toxic, in toxic inhalants. Key to responding properly, get what's called the consist from the railroad, a list of the cars. Each car has a code which tells what's inside, who's the shipper, and whom to call for more information. And there's now a cell phone app with all that. So that's Railroad 101, a basic course in hazmat safety, basic training. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Well, the hazmat training train will be in Bond Hill for the next few days.